Hey everybody, this is Kara Jones with Presenter Media. Today is Tuesday, so I'm feeling a little punny and I'm gonna call it Training Tuesday. Notification received. Today I'm going to show you really quickly how you can upload a template from Presenter Media to your Office 365 account and then after creating your beautiful PowerPoint presentation, embed that presentation onto your website. So, with that being said, let's get started. In the background you can see I have the office.com main page open. I'm signed into my account. Here I am. Yay! I can open a new blank presentation. I can continue an existing presentation. Or I have this awesome recent pinned shared with me discover. Or I can upload and open. Which one do you think I'm going to choose? You're right. Upload and open it is. So this is going to open up my desktop and everything that I have as far as my files. I do have a presenter media template right here called Cascading Bubbles. But one thing I want to show you guys, instead of just doing it that way, if you are already in a presentation and you decide on the fly that you want to be able to pull in a different presentation, the presentation you pull in unfortunately has to be saved in your OneDrive. So if you go to File and you go to Open, you'll notice that the only files that you have are on your OneDrive for business. So make sure that you're logged into that and make sure that you have your file downloaded. Here's mine. Hooray! So if we click on that, it will open up our presentation so you can see it. Just give it a minute. There it goes. So we can be able to view this presentation, click on the slideshow, save it, everything that we would for any other PowerPoint project. Proof of concept, here we go. And I do believe that Abby created this template. She did a really great job with it. So just hit spacebar, on we go, and so forth. But that is not the cool part. The cool part is if we go to File and Share, You'll notice in Office 6 2016, you get all these other options to share. You can export it as a PDF or as an XML file or as all these other different things. But in Office 365, you get the option to click on the embed link. What's nice about this is you actually get to pick the size of the finished project. So let's say we want it to be 610 by 367. That's like half of a computer screen wide or 962 by 565. I don't want it to be gigantic. We have this embed code that automatically updates as we go. So here's our embed code. And you can see we can click through the presentation. Off it goes. Now what I'm going to do is open up our blog. So you have your own blog, I'm sure or your own website, or whatever the case may be that you would be embedding HTML content. We're just going to go on and click on Add New. I'm going to say embed a PowerPoint into your website. And yes, this blog will actually go live uh, later this week. Click on Paste, Tab Out, Save My Draft, give it a minute. and publish. Yes, I live on the edge, guys. I totally do. Here we go. View my post. This is for all the marbles, everybody. And look at that. My PowerPoint presentation is embedded in our blog. Granted, I picked the wrong size dimensions, but check this out, guys. It is going to be playing on a loop for people to be able to watch it. Not only that, they can be able to skip around the presentation if they want to. They can be able to download a copy or print it as a PDF. Imagine what you can use this for in training for people or showing them sales materials. This was just a quick tutorial to show you guys how to do this. Again, Training Tuesday. I'm feeling punny. With that being said, if there's anything else you want to learn how to do using PowerPoint or Office 365 in your website, let me know in the comments below. I'd look forward to being able to help you guys out with them. With that being said, this is Kara Jones with Presenter Media. Let's make great presentations.